Um, so I, I, I do represent the Rhode Island State Council of Churches, and, and to me, the, the, the onus that I carry with me is speaking on behalf of an interfaith community, and, and um, it is an interfaith approach that we need to be engaged in as we fight the incredible situation that we find ourselves in once again. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of the, the shame that we brought upon ourselves with the treatment that we made of the indigenous people when some of our forebears first came here. I'm thinking of the shame that we brought on ourselves when we treated uh, Jews during World War II by saying, no, you cannot get off of those ships. You're going back to where you came from. I'm thinking of the shame that we brought on ourselves when we put into prison the Japanese families during World War II and the shame that we brought on ourselves with the Arab Muslim families uh, during the time following September 11th of 2001. And I'm thinking of children separated from their parents that were children put into camps and cages and, and the begrudging, the begrudging uh, reversal of that policy that took children and parents and who knows how long it will take to reunite those children and parents, but the early ones that are being reunited are once again being put into cages. And the shame that we bring upon ourselves is beyond tolerable, and that's why we are all here today. Um, Aaron said that, that you were all here for the clergy. Well, our hope is that we are here for you. One of, the, one of the things that I learned in the parochial grade school that I attended that uh, has been a part of my heart ever since then was it came along with the story of the Good Samaritan and, and my, my teacher Betty Nelson in the sixth grade said, so who is your neighbor? And her answer to that has been my answer ever since and that answer is every man, woman, and child. And it's not just men, women, and children who look like me it's not like those who look like my parents or my relatives. It's every man, woman, and child. And we do ourselves such disgrace. We heap such shame upon ourselves when we fail to recognize that we are all neighbors and that this country was built upon the idea of coming together and making something more of ourselves than we once were.